walkers. Arguably the easiest enemy in the game. More of a backdrop to the harder enemy types, if you will. So, would it be easier if every enemy in the game was a walker? Today, I find out while trying to beat the game if everything is a walker. So, what do I mean when I say everything is a walker? Well, take a look at this. Infected. Walker. Thug. Walker. Suicider. Walker. Ram. Walker. Floater. Walker. Butcher. Walker. Human. Walkers. Nice job. And mate. perhaps most importantly, Safe now, thanks to NPCs. You. We'll make it along without food. Walker. Well, don't come soon. We're gonna have to head to town. Meantime, maybe you could see if anybody needs help. You know the drill, though. Save Cinemoy. Beep boop. Act one. I saw the bite marks. You got no symptoms, but <laughs> those aren't love bites, are they? Yeah, and I'm not too sure that you didn't put them there. We go to clear out the lifeguard tower, and the big guy becomes medium girl. You know, you don't smell too fresh either, buddy. So we get the gas so the walker can burn the walkers, and then we move on to the hotel. Cool. Now my favorite cutscene. <laughs> oh. Up until now, this run has been easier than normal due to the relatively weak, slow enemies. But, uh, here's the thing. In this quest, we normally have infected spawning behind the wall and climbing over. This is not an option for walkers, so we have to get a little bit creative. They can't help what they are. They sick in the head. I showed some compassion. I got bit. By tomorrow, I'll, I'll be one of them. Got maybe six hours left. Probably less. But until then, I can still do some good. Are you sure about that? I end up going to get the gun that spawns down in the bungalows to make this a little easier. Kicking things off strong with a ram who pulls off an impressive reverse drag queen outfit, then removes it. We find out from Helen that the water pump station has been overrun by a gang of walker punks. Mouth. 
Into the sewers we find a particularly wet walker. I find out that another hooligan gang of walkers have occupied the supermarket and police station, so we clear them out. Back to the resort to visit my favorite walker. I thought all was lost. This kind of hunger makes people crazy. Some were saying we should eat the dead. And that's something you would never do. Right, Cinemoy? We go looking for some bunkers with undead gin. Turns out that bunkers lead to the jungle. Enemies down, we take the bunkers and start Act 3. After getting to the jungle, we stop in and see an old friend of mine who managed not to get turned into a walker. My wife is dead. that done, we've more or less closed off this act, so let's get on to the labs. Here right? begins the I'm MMO well. section I mean, of the game, where we do some side quests to progress the story, and tie it off with an overlong yeah, escort quest. So let's just montage that out. Radical. Now on to Act 5. We're nearing the end here. We do a couple more side quests, then face the final fight. Remember this guy? Well, this is him now. Feel old yet? Okay. Things are already a little wackadoodle, with the enemies being walkers half behind cover. Whoa, 
Jesus, I suck. And this is my most played game. You do be walking though. Walker White Down, we have successfully proven that you can beat Dead Island if everything is a walker. But for real though, this obviously wasn't much of a challenge, so the next one I'll be doing is Can You Beat Dead Island If Everything Is a Suicider? Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.